Hello and welcome to Mbizo. We have another session. Thank you very much for tuning in, for watching our videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And check us out on social media. It's at Mbizo ZA. Today we're going to be discussing a very interesting topic. And obviously it's in line with what is currently happening to women with gender-based violence and, and all that. We've already touched on gender-based violence before, so we're not going to repeat the same thing. So we decided to tackle an issue that is similar to the oppression, if I may say, that women face in this world. And this is male privilege in the workplace. Right. So obviously I'm going it, but I've got the team with me. San Monan. Hello. Hello, Asisabi. <laughs> That's what what's happening. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So we're going to get into it again. Yeah. Uh, Apelele is going to obviously shed more light onto this topic because she was passionate about it and she's been asking for it. She says male privilege in the workplace. Actually, she said black male privilege in the workplace. What was that about, Apelele? Enlighten us. Okay. Um, yeah, so recently I saw a post. Um, it's being a black female and being black twice. And I was like, hmm. This is so true. So I say black male privilege because I think e privilege, uh, what privilege has been discussed, um, and that goes acro- across male, female, it doesn't really matter. But black males also have privilege uh, as opposed to black females, and especially in the workplace. Né? Uh, what you'll find as a black female is one, there's obviously the issues that you face as a black person, one. And then two, it's the gender related issues that you'll face as a black person, particularly as a woman. So for instance, if I, for the times that I've uh, been to uh, or gone for interviews, you get questions like, when are you thinking of having kids? Um, are you pregnant? Um, you know, are you are have are you getting wanting to get married anytime soon? You get asked some really personal questions because the company looks at you as a person that might go on to maternity leave soon, um, and then you, you kind of now become it becomes an issue. You know, so the reason this is now over and above the issues that you'd face as a black person wanting to get a job. There's been instances where a person doesn't get the job because they are female or they have indicated that they are about to, or they want to start um, a family soon. And then you don't get the job and your male counterpart, your black male counterpart possibly gets the job, you know, because of the fact that you've now expressed what your plans are when it comes in that, to that regard. So I know that both of you guys, I can just ask you right now, have you guys ever been asked in an interview, would say, when do you want to start a family? Have, you, have they ever asked you that? <laughs> no, I've never been asked. Yes, that, no, that's, that's because I'm not... No. Ma- uh, okay. No, I mean, I've never been to start a family. They ask if you have a family or not. I want, that's one of the questions they ask you. But I think, I don't think it's a, it's a privilege. Uh, I don't know. if Maybe they, they want to they wanna plan they are, they are here, I want. So they ask you these questions as a woman because as far as I want. Yeah? Like, guys, guys, if being asked if you've got a family, that's one thing. Okay, do you have a family? Yes, sure, I've got a family. But if they ask, are you planning on, on starting a family soon? Are you pregnant? Are you wanting to get married? Um, and they ask all those questions because they're already calculating what's okay, do you risky? because this person wants to start a family, of which guys also start families, but they still get the job in any case. It doesn't matter, we'll see, have you started your family or not, because we are the ones that actually have to face the brands of carrying the children and all those things. So we become an, it becomes an issue, you know? And over and above that, in boardrooms, it's poor, maybe you've gotten the job now, now we're in a boardroom, now you're a black female amongst other men, and you're trying to make your voice heard. One, mm. you will always be as you are less than or much or something to who said that you know and you find that the very same thing said by a black counterpart 
can be like a black male counterpart is taken seriously. But if you say it, you will first be looked at as an object because to be quite honest, guys, as women, we face a lot, we have to jump a lot of hoops to just get our voice heard. Ever. Because what is the first thing that you think, Tabisu, when you see a woman walking down the streets, for instance? If, it, if Do you actually say, oh, here's a person or oh, wow, here's someone that, you know, you, you, start, you look at the structure first, you know, we are treated like objects, guys. We are first, before you... I think you I think now you're offering, yeah, for the point. Well, no, who's on that? I'm glad that's the point. Yeah, let me know. Can I say something, Abelio? Can I say something, Abelio? Listen, I'm very bad. Can I say something, Abelio? Can I say something? Sure. Because I am landing up, I'm driving a, a, a narrative here and what I'm landing the street. Wait, I, I, I'm walking, I'm asking what happens. So when you see a woman, what do you see first? Right? And the, fra- the fact that you are jumping, you are proving my point because I'm going to be irrelevant. Why are you jumping? If you, why are you getting touched? I'm not getting touched. I'm just touched? Touched. What point are you driving? Because you. I want to go board room. Yeah. Yeah. We are okay to board I Then you lost me. No, I lost you because you wanted to jump because you felt uncomfortable because you know I'm talking something that is true. You okay, know you're just... Oh, okay. Can, can I jump in here? Can I jump in here? Your street narrative. Apelele has got a point and, and, and I, I'm sure we both agree with you because I think the question is... Uh, Kesha, me and you, let's answer this question. Do we believe that there is uh, such thing as male privilege in the workplace? From my side, yes. There is privilege. Especially compared to women, to black women. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I, 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 maybe I've worked for companies that, wanted that, that support black women. So I haven't seen that uh, maybe uh, live. I want to, uh, like, come on, I'm being led by a, a black female. I want to, and and I've seen black females in the organization that I work for currently. I want to, and, and they are they're putting them out there and to top their chance. I want. But what I agree with apparently is that I wanna sometimes when when women speak, I wanna in 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 boardrooms and 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 express their points or they disagree with the with the issue that has been discussed. They be labeled as this angry black woman because when I'm about to Milan now. So that's the part there I want to agree with you there because I want to, we need to move away from that because no, we see females as being these emotional beings but at, at, at times when they're right, when, when they're right, they live, no, I'm too quiet to them and these angry women, we push like us to cool my mind. So that, that's the part I want to agree with you in the boardroom. But for me, I, 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 think, I think we're moving along with the time that we we're giving women Women, uh, they're, they're giving women a platform where they, they can stand and, and be seen and be heard. What do we need to change now? We need to change the way we perceive women. I want to end these. But end these Apelele's, first, Apelele's yeah. first example is valid, Kesha. Yeah. If you go to an interview right now as Kesha, and there's a pregnant woman as well who's running for the same job, chances are, and it's a pity we don't have someone from HR. And they'll probably won't agree, but chances are they will hire you over the, the pregnant woman, especially if both your interviews go well. So everything is, is, is the same. You both deliver, you show you're competent enough, same experience, whatever qualifications. But just because she's pregnant and you are a guy who is not pregnant, you might actually get the job over her. Why? Because you know, in a few months, she's going to have to go on maternity leave. And that already puts women at a disadvantage because yeah. well, it's not like they have these kids alone. As a man, I'm the father to those kids. So it goes back to something that we even argued. Um, we once had this d- discussion at, at work where we were saying, why don't we shift policies to say men are also entitled to, to e paternity leave that is as long as maternity leave? Mm. That way you do away with that with that advantage slash disadvantage of women being pregnant. Because if you come and I'm Tabiso right now and my woman is, is, is eight months pregnant and I get to a job, I'll tell them that, hey, my woman is eight months pregnant in a month's time, she's giving birth and I'm gonna be away for four months. 
so you sort of level it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? No, 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 that I, makes sense. Yeah. Can I can yeah. I just say something else, Ne? I just want to ask a question before I actually answer what you said. How many like what what Tukesha has said also reveals something deeper? Oh, would he? He says he's got a, a black female managing him. They've now started um, like giving women chances. There would not be a need to uh, be verbosely saying that they're giving women chances if the playing field was equal. I agree with you. If yeah. the playing field was equal, yes. So I don't understand why you are not realizing that there are the playing field is not equal and now the injustices that have been created and now trying now they're trying to correct it by okay now give her a role or give her a job as if the person was not good enough to get the job now they're getting the job because they are female and now it's they they're trying to fix uh previous or previous legacy issues you know so for me I, I, I want to i have one question for you yes who do you prefer to work under, a male or a female? I, I, you know what, I've worked under a male, I've worked under a female, and I, I would rather, I would rather work, I, I don't wanna base it on gender, because of have good experiences. Wait, wait. Can I say something? I wanna we never can you be a champ. The mama friends don't want that one. We are champ, we na. I can't even. Gets me now. I've worked, I've worked with both, ne. So I've got equal experiences with both male and female management, you know. And it, for me, it's a personality thing. Would he? Would we be able to work well together from a personality base? Because you can find men who to can personality allows for you to be creative or allows for you to do what you need to do. Ever omu your micromanages. It's about the management style for me and the personality more than the gender. I don't that, mind. That comes later on. That comes later I, on. So so right now, right now, if I'm interviewing you to work for me, you can you already know my gender. But you don't know my personality. You're only gonna find it's only gonna be revealed later on when you actually do start working. So mm-hmm. I'm asking now. You still have to make a decision. Kesha, say Kesha is a woman, and you have to choose to work either. I choose a woman because I've worked under a woman, and this there are three things that I prefer to be led by a woman. Uh, by firstly, um, one they understand that you've got family. So if I say to a woman, "Hey, my child is sick." or I need to do this, or you've, you've got things that, that you can relate on or relate about. You've got common things that she understands, common things that I understand, and there's that uh, mutual understanding of, of di- different uh, perspectives of your lives. Né? If I say to her, oh, I'm in pain, or my, or my period, I'm not in a good mood, she understands what it feels like. You know, She understands what I'm talking about. If I say, yo, Uban Mani really cut me off as I was trying to talk. She understands because she's also a woman and she's been in that position and she had to jump over the same hoops that I would possibly need to jump over to actually be heard, you know? So I would prefer to work under men, like to, like if I have to be quite honest because of this, the fact that there are certain things that women understand. If you are led by a man, there are certain things that um, when you say, uh uh-uh, that's not nice or that's not cool. It seems like you're emotional because, you know, we get written off with you no know, women are just emotional. Yeah, but we all get put into the bo- same box that uh, men say, don't put us in a box. We're not the same. We're not the same. We're all different. But you put women in the very same box and say, ah, emotional, you know, but you, you won't actually try and understand so why is she so adamant or passionate about the points. Yeah, but if you are oppressed or if you are not listened to or if you are put in the back burner, the time that you speak and you know that you're writing, you've been writing, you you can see these things keep happening. You're not going to be polite each time. It's, oh, yeah, guys, this is what I think. You're going to be aggressive about your points to a degree or you're going to make your point in a way that, like, you are saying, I know what I am talking about and this is why I know what I'm talking about. It's because of the previous experiences that women have to face. Here's a question for the two of you. 
Okay, just to answer your question, Tamiso, yes, I agree. I think the the paternity leave is important, not from a work, uh, not only from a work perspective, but from a home perspective, and for actually leveling out the playing field. Okay, it's not just my job to take care of my child. It's not just my job. So yeah, but it's it's got a it's got other connotations or other benefits in the sense that if a man comes back from home. Um, oh yeah, it's okay, cool. Nami, I, I need to take care of the child. Nami, I'm going to work. It's basically, it's, it, it, I feel like it's, it's right, and I feel like it's going to help a lot of societal issues that will also have a positive impact in the workplace as well. So here's a question: How many black females, Tanisa, do you have in your organization that are in management, like top management? <clears throat> uh, in, in, in when you say my organization, are you talking about my companies, or are, are you talking about? The company I work for. <laughs> so, as opposed to black males, how many? How many would you say it's a sixty forty split? Is it an eighty twenty split? Is it a seventy thirty split? Yeah, it will probably be like a ninety to ten split. To be quite honest, you know, because I mean, we we need to also understand. Not that we need to understand, but where I am, it's in terms of being transformed and then progressive that that place is still very much behind um it's in Stellenbosch you understand so and I, I've always say I said even previously in the corporate uh whatever challenges in corporate that we spoke about that in terms of gender still be very much behind in terms of race even even having just black leaders it's it's very much so when you think when we say black and by black we're talking like African black black like like you like us right Tsungati, or should you say people of color? Because that's what they use as an excuse. But I, I, I think it's different because we're not, we're not oppressed the same back in the day. They were not just saying uh, uh, black people are colored Indian and Africans. They were saying Africans are this Indian and colored with this and they received much better treatment than blacks, but they were still oppressed. So now I don't know why when we redress, we have to couple it together. So what is happening, especially where I work, they have a lot of so-called people of color. Mm. Now by that, so it's mostly colors and Indians. Okay, so, and the fact that you have just said that there's a 90-10 split, 90 uh, to, to the man, ne? and then 10% to the woman, basically. So mm. that already shows you, would see there's, I get what you're saying, Wootsie, there's lots of transformation that needs to happen and, 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 and all of that, but that lands the corporate position of women in the workplace in your organization and from your experience. Amen. Kesha, when on to you, when uh, how do you answer that question? How what is it for you? Yeah I mean I, I think my 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 the organization that I, I'm currently at uh, I think they're very uh, uh, progressive one. I think it's more than a 90 10 split probably maybe if I'm not I'm not sure but I think it's, it's about a maybe a 60 40 you know of women in in, 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 in power and women in, in making decisions, making power. So I think they're, they, they're doing quite a, a good job in ad addressing the redress of, 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 of women empowerment and uh, black, black economic empowerment as well. I wonder, because I, I think I, I was watching something, Isolo, that uh, uh, a documentary about Mama Winnie Mandela. She said that, uh, yes, we have gained political freedom but we are far from, from gaining economic freedom. So we have a long way to, 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 to go as a, as a country. And uh, at these sessions that we're having are trying to address those things and trying to break those boundaries and, and trying to ask questions and trying to keep people talking. And yeah, well, that's what for me. I think, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, we have to stick with the I think so. Here's a quick question. Ne? I, I like the fact that you keep mentioning Wuti progressive and all of that. That means Wuti, there was an issue. Now they're fixing the issue. Now they're adding more women. Still not a issue. Was apartheid. Issue was apartheid, but now there's yeah. a double issue with women. Yeah, it's a double. The fact that you, uh, in, in Uganda as well. So here's a question: Tabi, you saw Kesha. Whose management would you rather be under, a male or a female? Wow. And wow. Oh, you so. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, and Mina, why? And Mina, 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 let me tell you. So, 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 Mina, I work well with, with people. I make it a point to work well with people that I work with. And, and you answer the question. Why is the whole time you tell me? 
Have you seen? I've worked with the female and I've worked with the male. <laughs> and both sides, both times, they, I, I, both, I actually work well with the people. But now for me, it's always going to be like, no more about it. As long as I have a job, like guys, that's, that's my thing. And, and you I are can't an interact with the person before. You, not, you don't know them. You haven't set up a job. Who do you want to work with? There's, a, there's me, well, not me, but there's a female, and then there's a, there's a guy. They're interviewing you, and they're saying, okay, okay. listen, you said you're going to be under my management or her management. You don't know these people. You just see their genders and their suits or whatever it is that they're wearing. Who do you want to work for? And they're offering, they offering the same thing, same package, don't same... I am asking you, this is like a personality test. You take the one without thinking, the one that is closest to you. I am asking you, would you go for the male or the female? Interview Jenga Manje. Who cool. answer the question? I don't know. If I would have to meet the people, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> be a punk. Be a punk. Be a punk. Yeah, but I from the question. Yeah, but I left from the question. Black and white. Woman or male, chief? Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 that's not, but, but, but that's not, I, I, now I'm just being forced to, I'm oh, being forced to choose, but I'll answer the question. I'll answer the question. Now, after, 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 after a long okay. explanation, you, hey, 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 Okay, okay, no, but look, let me be I think I, I, I rather work under a, a, a woman, you know why? Because they're more soft, that's why they're understanding. They, 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 they soft. They, they, These are the problems they. you're facing. What is soft? Yeah, no, as what is soft? they've got a they, they, they've got a, 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 a more nurturing personality of one as a leader, they, they, they can lead better one. They can understand what you want. Um, guys are, we, I'm not, so, you know, guys, we are sometimes see, see like, see, we're, gonna, we're straight as well, like, you know, in touch, like, cool, like, when we focus on the, on the end goal, not, not the, you know, the, the in-between, the watch. Like, what you say, like, just these are targets, that's it. As for guys, how do you get there? You know what I mean? How to nurture people as in leadership? I don't, I don't know, but I think women are better leaders, uh, tell you so. I, I see from my mother as well. From my mother as well. I think, as well. I think, I think most because of, you know, the, 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 the maternal side. I know I'm being a, I'm being No. Yeah. yeah. But, no, 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 no. But, but this is, this is an so unfair, seconds, it's an unfair you question. Why? Take another question, Chief. Kulu. Don't want to know. See, what's no, it's an unfair question. question. Yeah. Because, oh wow! You were asking me, was it fair? Asking- <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer. But you must understand. I always say, I know it's fourth industrial revolution, but we are not robots. You must give context to what we're uh-uh. answering. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, okay, okay. For me, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for. It really depends, but for now, I'll go with a man. And I don't wanna lie about it. My reason is simple. It's because. A man will probably be able to relate with most of the stuff that I go through. But I'm not saying women are bad leaders. A man will be able, the same reason that I paid used earlier on. I have other uh, stuff that I go through personally. I can be able to really tell the person directly with you, I'm dealing with this, and they can be able to understand. It's always going to be human nature that you gravitate towards those that are like you. So, yeah, but at the same time, I can still work under women. I've worked under women. I've worked with women. Uh, when you're asking representation, yeah, in Bizo, two men, one woman. We're literally looking for two more women. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the oppression? Already I'm oppressed to be Bizo. I'm the only female. Yo, <laughs> oh, guys. Yo, it's everywhere. No, it's bro, like, like, apparently, let, let me tell you something. Yeah? So, like, you know, nothing uh, negative, but we try and get friends to come to Imbizo, which are females. You know what they, they tell me? <sighs> I gotta go fix my hair. It's too short notice. I gotta look proper. You know what I mean? So, woman is the element with you. The girl is the one that look. You know, it's the same way. It's their nature. It's their nature. It's their nature. It's their nature. Bunch of hello. In the name So, I'm oppressed. When are you hardcore? Doesn't matter. 
weave or no weave, uh, eyebrows or no eyebrows, but we, we love you still, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So I think that this was a nice discussion, yeah, but you forced me to answer an unfair question. I'm still not fine. <laughs> I'm not fine. <laughs> wow. Anyway, uh, let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you think about this whole topic of uh, male privilege in the workplace. Share some of your experiences as well. Let's keep on educating one another and continue with the conversation at ImbizoZA. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Say, Ivala, Sharp.